you develop shelter solutions, you develop schools for refugee children, you develop mobile HIV or now COVID health centers, you develop cultural sustainability and preservation projects. And that in my mind went way beyond my definition of architects. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'd love to hear a little bit about what's your definition of architecture. So that takes me back earlier because I feel like I was duped into being an architect. I grew up in a very rough part of East London. There was a lot of violence. There was no trees. There wasn't this sort of surrounding. It wasn't a peaceful place. And as a young kid, I used to run away from home all the time. And I wasn't running away to get away from my parents, but I was curious about other neighborhoods in London. And so by the time I was six, seven, eight years old, I was basically going to other parts of London by myself and understanding that different urban environments resulted in different outcomes. A nice park, a well-formatted, like, you know, gathering place, people were happy and they smiled. And, and at the time I didn't know it was socioeconomic reasons, right? Because when you're poor, you don't think you're poor. You think your neighbor's poor, right? So no one actually said, well, Cameron, you guys come from a poor household and you live in a rough neighborhood. That's why it's so bad. I was like, why is this architecture better? And so as a six-year-old or seven-year-old, I thought maybe if you build better architecture, you could actually improve communities. And so I became an architect because I felt that it was a vessel where people discover how to become better humans. And that, that as we put things into the world, we're not just affecting the client, we're affecting everybody in that ecosystem. So when you're building something in the middle of a city, it's not just the owner of that building, it's everybody that surrounds that building that gets affected by e either positively or negatively. So by the time I went to architecture school, I was absolutely convinced that that's what the role of the architect was, was to either positively improve the planet or to be a detriment. And I wanted to make sure that I was going to positively improve the planet. 